In this video, I'm going to show you how to download OptiFabric for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser and look up OptiFabric download. And from here, go ahead and select on a reliable download link. I personally suggest downloading it from curseforge.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and just press on this right over here. And then you should get a menu that looks like this. Now from here, all you want to do is you want to go to the right menu and select on what version of Minecraft you would like to install OptiFabric on. So for this video, we're going to be installing OptiFabric for Minecraft 1.20.4. So I'm going to go ahead and select on this right over here. And all you want to do is go ahead and press on these three dots and then just go ahead and press on download file. And then it will be installed to your desktop. Now for clarity purposes, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out to my desktop just so you guys are able to see things a little bit better but anyways guys the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up another tab and then look up fabric download the reason why we need to do this is because we need to install the fabric in order for this to actually work so all you want to do is look up fabric download and then select on the official fabricmc.net website when you press on the website you will be greeted by a page that looks like this but anyways guys all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and select on download once you're over here go ahead and download the universal jar press on this link over here and then bam and then all you want to do is just drag it out to your desktop once again putting the files to your desktop will just make the process significantly easier but anyways guys once you install fabric all you want to do is go ahead and open up another tab and look up optifine download from here go ahead and select on the official optifine.net website then you'll be greeted by a page that looks like this and all you want to do is press on this button that says show all versions and then you want to go ahead and find the version of Minecraft you are trying to get out the fabric for. So recall in this video we're getting off the fabric for Minecraft 1.20.4 so I'm going to go ahead and locate 1.20.4 which is right over here and then I'm going to be pressing on download like so. And then it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. But all you want to do is go to the top right and then press on the skip button. And then it is going to take you to the download page. So go ahead and just press on download and then it will be installed to your desktop. So let's go ahead and drag it out over here just to make the process a little bit easier. Okay, so now that we got our three files, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up the fabric installer. So all you want to do is right click on it and then select on the option that says open with. Now, if for some reason you do not see the option that says open with or you don't see this option that says Java, do not worry because all that means is that we need to install Java on our device. And obviously another way you could tell that you may need Java is if the icons are not like this coffee image over here. So if you already have Java on your device, then the icon of the files will be like a coffee but if you don't have that then that is okay because all we need to do is install java thankfully installing java is incredibly easy so all you want to do is open up any web browser and then just look up java download and then oracle and then all you want to do is select on the official oracle.com website then it will take you to a page that looks like this and then you just want to scroll down make sure you select on jdk21 because we will need at least java 21 in order to run off the fabric so go ahead and just press on that and then go ahead and select on the operating system you are utilizing so we have linux mac os or windows so i'm personally on windows so i would select on this and then go ahead and install the x64 installer right over here and downloading java is essential especially if you're trying to run mods and stuff like that or open jar files so go ahead and make sure you have java installed okay so now that you have java installed the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the fabric installer right click on it go ahead and press on open with and then select on java and then it will say tm platform sd binary so go ahead and just press on that all right guys and then it is going to open up a menu like this over here it will say minecraft version so go ahead and select on the correct minecraft version that you are trying to get off the fabric on so in this video we are working with 1.20.4 so i'm just going to be selecting on that and then once you got that done go ahead and press on install and by the way you might get a pop-up that looks like this so all you really need to do is just close the minecraft launcher like so and then it will say that it has successfully installed the fabric loader so go ahead and just press on ok and then you can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher once more all right guys so once you open up the minecraft launcher you should notice that the fabric loader should be selected right over here if you do not see the fabric loader installation do not worry because all you want to do is go to the top menu over here select on installations and then make sure that over here where it says versions that the box that says modded is actually turned on then go ahead and press on this button that says new installation and then over here where it says versions all you want to do is just look up the uh fabric loader like so and then you should be able to add it all right but thankfully i was able to find the fabric fabric loader installation right over here so all you want to do from here is you want to go to the right and then press on this folder icon like so and then a bunch of folders will appear 
The next thing we need to do is we need to locate the folder called mods. It should be in all lowercase and it should be right over here. Now, if for whatever reason you do not see a mods folder, do not worry because you can easily make one by right clicking and then pressing on new and then folder and then calling it mods in all lowercase. So all you want to do from here is open up the mods folder like so. And then what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be dragging in our Opti fabric mod in here. And we're also going to be dragging in Optifine like so. So make sure you have these two files dragged in. Do not put the fabric installer over here because that is going to cause errors. So make sure that you only drag in the Opti fabric mod and the Opti find mod. So once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of it and then open up the Minecraft launcher once more. Go ahead and select on play. Make sure that the fabric loader is selected. Go ahead and press on play and make sure you check this box that says I understand and then press on play again. And from here, it will begin to load into Minecraft. All right, guys, and now we are loaded into Minecraft. So all you want to do is go ahead and press on single player and create a brand new world or load into an existing world. All right, guys, here we are in our Minecraft world and we should be able to run our game significantly smoother. And also we should be able to run shaders. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.